Welcome back to Bonding Over Bourbon. I'm Kat. I'm Chris. <laughs> You're Chris. Yes. Chris, what are we doing today? Uh, we're returning to one of our segments, Five Points in Five-ish Minutes. Uh, that's where we highlight a bottle or a distillery that we like, and we go over five points of uh, what is it or who are they, uh, what do we know about it or them, uh, why should you care, what does it taste like, and how do we rate it? And today's distillery is... Ben Holiday. <laughs> Jazz fingers. So Kat, do you want to kick this off? I would love to. So uh, let's start with point number one. What is it? Ben Holiday was originally started as Blue Spring Distillery in 1856 on the same land that Lewis and Clark passed through in 1804. It was founded by two Kentucky natives, uh, Ben Holiday and his brother David, who knew limestone rich water was vital for bourbon production. The land was originally used for meat packing and the barrels were stored in a cave on site used for curing and preserving meat. The same cave is still in use for select distillery only barrels and you can visit it today on a tour. Ben then sold the business to his brother David who at the time was mayor. It, is, it was a very small town of a hundred people and from then it was passed down generation to generation before being sold. And in a hundred years the business changed hands three more times before being operated under the current ownership. So this takes us to point number two. What do you what do we know about it? So Ben Holiday bonded and Rickhouse Proof whiskeys are both 73% corn, 15% rye, and 12% malted barley. All their whiskeys are made exclusively with corn grown in Missouri. And it has the same mash bill that was developed by Ben Holiday in 1856. It has a level 3 char using Missouri white oak and is non-chill filtered. So this takes us to point number 3. Why should you care? They're very transparent on their label and their website, listing both warehouse location, floor number, percentage of each barrel blended, age statements, and season produced. And they received several awards, including the gold at the San Francisco World Spirit Competition and double gold at the fifth best bourbon competition because they couldn't go to the fourth best bourbon competition. Yeah, that's a weird flex. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, we're gonna dig right into it. Let's start tasting and sniffing. I think I definitely get like ethanol. A lot of ethanol, <laughs> it's tickling my nose. Some like, some sugary notes, what kind of sugar? You get like a, like a brown sugar? Yeah. Not quite caramel, but almost. Close. All right, I'm going in. Oh. Man, you can definitely taste that 15% rye. Ooh! It is uh, quite peppery on the palate. I definitely, I mean, even though this is a Missouri <laughs> <laughs> whiskey, <laughs> I'm getting a Kentucky hug for sure. Yeah. All those same flavors still definitely carry through to the palate. Yeah, I definitely get like a, like a very caramel-like, uh, surprisingly like bitter, almost sweet tea kind of note to it. Yeah. And oak tannins, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I don't know about you, but my mouth is salivating. I know, mine is like coated in, in stuff. Yeah, stuff. <laughs> stuff. Yeah, you know, we're, we're all just stuff with bits in it. Yeah, the clinical word of stuff. So where I actually do have a bonus for us. I actually have the Rick House. We lied, this is a double review. <laughs> oh. Rumor is that uh, the Rick House proof is just the bonded that just hasn't been diluted to make it 100 proof. So this should potentially just be the same juice, just slightly hotter by about an extra 10%. It's interesting cause like I get more, instead of like those brown sugar notes, I'm getting more of like the dark, kind of caramelly taste. Yeah. Or like scent. I definitely get more nuttiness on this one. Yeah. And it, surprisingly, the ethanol has calmed down. <laughs> yeah. One. Not as much tingling on the, the nostrils anymore, but you can you can tell it's hot. Should we go in? Yeah, let's go for All it. Right, cheers. Doesn't taste hot up front, but <laughs> oh, you can feel it. Oh, that is a uh, 60% alcohol. So that's, that's pretty up there. 
I feel like I just got like the bomb, like on hot, on ones. hot ones. Yeah. Just, oh, I won't stop on my heart either. Yeah, this, yeah. this, this one is not for the, uh, the, the faint of heart. <laughs> yeah, it tastes delicious, yeah. but like there is such a hug on that. The same flavors that we found in the first one are definitely amplified here. Mm -hmm. You definitely get like a little more on the caramel, not so much like the brown sugar notes. Um, and again, my mouth is salivating. Yeah. It's, uh, you get a lot more oak presence, like it's a lot drier, more tannic, uh, but the trade-off is like, I just, I can't stop producing spit right now. It tastes like cream soda to me. Yeah, kind of. Cream soda or like... Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I was going to say prune, which apparently is Dr. Pep one of the Dr. Pepper like I, I believe it. flavors. Prune yeah. soda it is. Hey, why not? All right, so before we get too lost in the sauce here, uh, what do we rate it? Let's start Both with them. let's start with the first one. Okay, uh, the bonded. So the bonded is a solid pour. I think if we're rating this on one to ten, correct? Yeah. <laughs> I would give this a good like seven point five. That was literally what I was <laughs> thinking. <about. laughs> I think that like it's it's a solid one. You could definitely drink it every day. You wouldn't get like palate fatigue from it. It's no. just like. It's a good pour. It, it makes me happy. Yeah, no palate fatigue here. The, uh, <laughs> the the flavors are so complex that each sip is probably going to be a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, 7.5 for me as well. Uh, it's very rare that we give something the same exact score. Yeah, and I think it would make a really good mixer too. Super good. Yeah, well, they probably don't want to hear that, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right, Rick proof. Or Rick proof. Yeah, yeah Rick the proof. Rick house proof. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, um, so that one, I would give that one, it's pretty close. I'd probably say like a 7.9. I was going to do 7.2. Just because of the extreme hug, I feel like I'm so hoarse from it now <laughs> that like if I was drinking that consistently, I w would definitely kind of get like fatigued out. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and you can only drink so much of a, a high proof whiskey before your whole night and all your plans just kind of <laughs> become a wash. That wraps up another segment of uh, five points and five ish if minutes. minutes. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you like this, please let us know below in the comments. Of course, uh, like the video if you enjoy what you saw. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see in the future, and please subscribe. <laughs> As always, we, we appreciate all of you that are watching these, and we'll, we look forward to making more content like this in the future. So until next time, bye. Bye.